even when they're not talking to me and I hear the conversation in the distance, they be like, oh, it's my man good. I'll be like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey sweeties, it's not Ema here and I am back with another video. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, this is a place where we talk about all things sweet and gourmand. And today, I'm going to be talking about Epico Vanille Charnel. I hope that's how you pronounce it. Now, I'm talking about this fragrance today because I just did a top gourmand, top vanilla gourmand fragrance video and I forgot to include the queen. We're gonna get into her today because I've had her for a while now and I have not talked about her. I have not talked about her. So before we get into it, y'all already know what to do. Subscribe if you aren't already. Give this video a thumbs up if you love sweet and gourmand fragrances and turn on your bell notification so you can be notified when I upload a new video. Now let's get into it. So recently I just posted a top vanilla gourmand video. Make sure y'all go check out that video if you didn't already, okay? If you love vanilla fragrances, check that video out. And while I was recording that video, I forgot to add the queen. How can I forget you? I don't know. I've had this fragrance for a while now and I did not speak on it at all ever. Like, I'm like, what are you doing? I noticed that I didn't talk about it right after I finished recording and I was just like, I'm done. I cannot record anymore. It takes me about 30 minutes to finish a whole video and I was not going back to talk about this fragrance. So I'm giving this fragrance its own video, its own review video. So this is my bottle from Lucky Scent. I basically get most of my fragrances from Lucky Scent because they have great customer service and they ship on time. I get my stuff in three to four days so I ain't looking at no other fragrance website unless I have to. Before I bought the full bottle, I started off with a sample. When I first tried a sample out, I was like, this smells weird. It smells weird. Like it just has like we're gonna get into it. We're gonna get into the opening. But I was like, it smelled weird. And then when I let it sit and I was getting the whiffs of it on my wrist, I was like, oh my gosh, I am so in love. So immediately I just bought a full bottle. This stuff is so good. Okay. So if you love vanilla caramel fragrances, but buttery, smooth, warm, sweet caramel vanilla fragrances then you are going to love this fragrance. And if you have this fragrance, comment down below what you think about this fragrance, okay? Only positivity. Let the people know how great this fragrance is. Okay, so first let's get into the main accords. We have sweet, vanilla, caramel, fruity, powdery, amber, and balsamic. So sweet, it definitely is. Vanilla is definitely vanilla. Caramel, yes, yes. Fruity. No. Powdery, yes. Amber, yes. Balsamic, yes. The top notes are candied fruits, fruity notes, lemon. I don't know where they get that from. Middle notes, peach blossom, white flowers, base notes, vanilla caramel, benzoin, and musk. The top notes gave me all types of confusion. The top notes is the reason why I bought this sample in the first place because I thought it was going to be like this fruity, caramel, vanilla, dessert type of smelling fragrance. It could pass as a dessert, but it's not fruity at all. This is not a fruity fragrance. Like I, I done smelled this a million times and I don't detect fruit. I don't detect lemon. Sometimes I feel like I detect the lemon, but I feel like I'm trying too hard to detect it because it's in the notes and I just need to be real with myself. There's no lemon in here. There's no fruits in here. There's top notes is non-existent. You know, I see people tend to do that sometimes. Like they, they be like, oh, I smell this, I smell that because it saves it in the, the chords and the notes but it ain't there. I do not get white flowers. There's barely any floral. The opening kind of gives you, kind of gives you like this bitter, sweet, caramel, vanilla type of scent until it dries down, then it gets sweeter. The opening kind of threw me off like, hmm, <laughs> why well, smell like that? But the more you smell it, the more you let it sit and you come back to the fragrance, you are going to appreciate it for what it is. Like the opening does not bother me anymore. Like it's sweet, it's caramelly and sweet, but in the dry down, it gets more sweeter and buttery. You get that buttery caramel vanilla scent and then like something in the opening just go poof. But after a while, I got used to it. So the base notes, vanilla caramel, benzoin, and musk, 
that's what you are getting throughout the whole entire fragrance. You're getting all four of those notes combined, mixed together in the most delicious way. Sometimes I don't like benzoin with fragrances because it could kind of get cloying and thick smelling and kind of not in a good way for me, but I love it in this fragrance. The vanilla, the caramel, the benzoin, the musk is just a warm, comforting vibe. This is super warm and buttery. Now let's go in the section this perfume reminds me of. Let me see what I agree with and what I don't disagree with. I mean, <laughs> what I agree with and what I disagree with. Does it smell like Escapade Gourmands? I don't get those vibes. I don't get those vibes. The only thing similar that it has with Escapade Gourmands is the benzoin. The benzoin, like I said, is kind of cloying. It has like this, I don't know how to describe it, but y'all know what I mean, like when benzoin is added to the fragrance, like the benzoin and Prada Candy, it does too much. And that's probably why I don't really like Escapade Gourmand like that. The benzoin just interferes with the vanilla and the sugar too much for me. This is way sweeter than Escapade Gourmand, in my opinion. And Escapade Gourmand has a sugar note. And that's another reason why I don't really gravitate towards Escapade Gourmand because it's just not sweet enough for me. So next, Accident I Love Vanille. This is similar to Accident I Love Vanille. I will agree with that. People say they get caramel in Accident I Love Vanille. I don't get caramel. I just get a nice fluffy pastry vanilla fragrance and creamy. This gives me fluffy, fluffy, warm vanilla caramel fragrance. They both have that realistic vanilla fluffy scent. But then again, this is sweeter. This is sweeter. This has more caramel. This is thicker. I feel like Accident Olive Vanille is kind of a little bit airy. This is heavier caramel. And this has benzoin that just makes it thick. So yeah, it's similar to Accident Olive Vanille. Like that delicious vanilla caramel fluffy vibe. Bianco Latte by Zero Moco. The caramel in that one is definitely, is definitely similar to this one. But this one is more smoother. This one is more smoother, has more vanilla. But they both are like caramel buttery type of fragrances. I say that. That caramel in Bianco Latte, the Zero Moco one, and Accident Ala Vanille mixed together is this. The vanilla in Accident Ala Vanille and the caramel in Bianco Latte Zero Moco one. Add benzoin and you get this. Almost. Almost. I wouldn't say exactly, but if you have those two fragrances, then you get the picture. You want Talenti. I completely disagree. I do not get the hype with that one at all and this do not smell like it. It reminds me of a musty version of Bath & Body Works Blueberry Santa Shortbread. Especially the dry down with the cookie note. Mm -mm. And I see Giardini's Di Toscana Bianco Latte and this do not smell like it, so don't do that. I like you and all, but nothing can ever be compared to Bianco Latte, sorry. But y'all get the point, okay? This is caramel vanilla buttery goodness, y'all. Buttery, warm, Thick. This is strong, okay? This will last you the whole entire day. This will project. If you wear this fragrance out in public, people are gonna think something is baking nearby. You go out in public with this, you're gonna get compliments. And even when they're not talking to me and I hear the conversation in the distance, they be like, mm, it smells mad good. I'll be like, yeah. Mm. So yeah, y'all, this is Vanille Charnel, buttery vanilla caramel goodness. I had to let y'all know because I forgot to include this in my top vanilla gourmand. And this is a top vanilla vermont. So comment down below your thoughts and opinions. And I will see y'all in the next video. It's Queen Naima and I am out.